Good morning. Good morning. We are so glad that you are here. We, I'm the only one here yet, so I am glad that you are on your way. And if you, oh, good morning, Tanya. I wanna be like, props to you, first one here. So glad I had a moment of getting lonely there. We're glad that you're here. And Shane, welcome Shane. And Karen, welcome. And Rob, hmm, so glad y'all are here. Yes, good morning, Joyce. So glad you got online. So glad that you got online. And Ellen, and Jeremiah. Jeremiah, we are here. Glad that you are here this morning. Yes, we are. And Carol, props to you, Carol and family. I'll be calling you at 9.30 this morning. And uh, yes, look at that smiley face. So early, let's practice our smiley faces this morning. <laughs> Oh, and good morning, Susanna. Good morning. And Donna, we are so glad that you are here. Good morning, Paul and Sue. We're glad. Emily, are you the only one up at your house? Do you have any kids up watching with you this morning? All right, Kim, we're glad that you are here. And Al, I've missed you the last few mornings. Good morning, Rebecca. We are glad that you are here. Oh, look at all you wonderful people joining me. So good, so good. Good morning, Lori. Oh, good morning, good morning. I love all of you so very much, and I'm not gonna talk about that a whole lot or else I'm gonna get all teary-eyed, but man, I love my church family. Y'all are so good. Ellie and I are watching, look at this, three kids. Well, I haven't seen Alicia yet, but she could be on her way. Good morning, Bucola. Good morning, good morning, Jane. We are glad that you are here. Wow, look at y'all, like 25 of y'all watching. So good, so good. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. Wow, I'm feeling the love this morning. I'm feeling the love. Oh yes, oh yes. Maybe I should clean my bathroom this early in the morning every day. Good morning, Verna. Good morning. <sighs> Oh, I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love. All right, my dear, dear friends. So glad that you're here. We're here. Colette, who else is with you this morning? Is Rob there? Is Josh there? Josh can't possibly be up right now. Well, maybe. Maybe Josh is up right now. I just love the fact that I feel like we're all trickling in to like either room 111 or like the auditorium and I get to be like, hey, y'all are coming. Josh is, yes, that's what I thought. Josh is sleeping. Josh is sleeping. All right. Well, we're going to, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to uh, take a passage from prayer meeting last night, uh, which was so good. And, uh, Lynn Dick joined me last night and she sang Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus and I was just like, oh, that has got to be our reminder every single day. Every single day that has got to be the reminder that we are to turn our eyes upon Jesus. And, uh, and Greg is so good at coming up with those devotions and sending them to me because he read a passage while well, he wrote a passage from Psalm 139 verse 11 and it says, Surely. So actually, if you want to open up your Bibles or if you know it, because a few years ago we memorized it. Um, a bunch of us memorized it with Laura Lee Cockrum, the whole Psalm 139. Um, oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You are familiar. No, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You're familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You hem me in behind and before you have laid your hand upon me. Isn't that, wow, such wisdom is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings on the dawn, and settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. 
your right hand will hold me fast. It's this wonderful passage about God knowing us and being with us and never letting us go. And right, your such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too too lofty for me to attain, right? This idea that he knows us so well. He knows us so well. And so then we can start thinking, well, where can I get away from this? And the answer is nowhere. We cannot get away from the Lord. And sometimes we think, well, what about the darkness? Good morning, Alicia and Oakley. And good morning, Sharon. We're glad that you're here this morning too. And so that brings us to verse 11. That brings us to verse 11, right? Um, because verse 7 says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn and settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. And then verse 11 says, surely, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me right? It says, surely, surely the darkness will hide me and the night, light become night around me. But then it goes on to say in verse 12, and this is what I love about God's word. It says, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day for darkness is as light to you. So what I want you to do, well, what I'm going to do, but you could do it too. And if you're able to, um, and if you're not, then I'll give you another option. But if you're able to, I want you to go to the darkest spot in your house. So I actually have to turn off that light. And you're like, where'd she go? So I actually discovered this yesterday because I, I don't normally do this, but my bathroom is the darkest place in my house. And so as I was thinking about this passage, and you can close your eyes if you can't go to the darkest place. But it says, surely the darkness, right? Surely the darkness will hide me. And the light become night around me. But it says, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. Isn't that, isn't that powerful? that the darkness is as light to the Lord. Like he is in the darkness. The darkness will not overcome the Lord. The darkness will not overcome the Lord. Can you say that with me today? The darkness will not overcome the Lord. One more time. The darkness will not overcome the Lord. Psalm 23 says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it also says, even though I walk through a very dark place, right? The Lord is with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. So even though we sense we are in a very, very dark place, we're not. We're not alone. Because even the darkness is as light to him. Psalm 8, or uh, John 8, 12 says, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that light of life is new life in Jesus. When we put our faith in Jesus Christ, he fills us with his Holy Spirit and we never walk in darkness ever because he is with us. It says, you hem me in behind and before you have laid your hand upon me. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence, right? Like when we ask Jesus into our heart, he is always with us, right? All the way throughout scripture. It says, I'll be with you wherever you go. Surely I'm with you to the very end of the age. Like God is always with us. When we put our hope in Jesus Christ, he he makes the darkness as light. So we do not, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So we don't need to be afraid of the dark because it says light to him. So I just want to share this with you. This is, yes, my bathroom, which is a little funny light. But look. On my bathroom, you can see it. It says, let, Lord, let your unfailing love surround us 
for our hope is in you. Psalm 33, 22. Yes, I have scripture everywhere. But we are to let the Lord's hope surround us. So I want to encourage you today. I'm coming back out into the light. I want to encourage you today to not be overwhelmed by darkness, right? Do Say that with me. I will not be overcome by darkness. Again, I will not be overcome by darkness. One more time. I will not be overcome by darkness. All right. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Nowhere. Nowhere. There's nowhere that we can get away from God because he's already there. So I want to encourage you today. <sighs> I want to encourage you today to let God be the light in your darkness. If you're feeling dark, call out to him. Call out to him. Say, God, I need you. God, would you push away the darkness? God, would you give me your peace? Would you give me your peace? Right? Surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night will shine like the dawn, for darkness is as light to you. My dear friends, I love you each so very much. I encourage you to meditate on Psalm 139 today. I encourage you to hold on to its truths that God knows you so well. God knows you so well and you might be thinking, yeah, but there's no yeah buts. He loves you, he cares for you, and he will always be with you when you put your faith in Jesus Christ. And that prayer goes to your Lord Jesus. I need to know you. I want to follow you. I don't want to live in darkness anymore. Would you help me to learn more about you? And he will, because he honors those prayers. So let's pray. God, wow, you're good. Wow, you're good. Wow, you're good. You knit everything together. In fact, the next verse is say, you knit me together in my mother's womb. But Lord, the darkness is not dark to you. The darkness is not dark to you. The darkness is not dark to you. Would you remind us of that over and over again today? That the darkness is not dark to you and that you are greater than the darkness. And so would you forgive us when we think, when we allow ourselves to get sucked into the darkness and when we just call in the name of the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, and he, you will come. You've promised that all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. So would you help us to call on the Son, on your Son Jesus today? Push back the darkness. Push back the darkness. And help us to hold on to that hope in you. Let us hold fast to the hope that we have in you. In your name we pray. Amen. My dear friends. I hope you have a really great day. I love you each so much. I'm sending hugs and squeezes to each one of you and I can't wait to do that in person. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you today. Okay, that's it. Bye.